fish and it's a great atmosphere. It's just a place where everybody can gather and say hello to one another. There are a lot of social skills involved in this event. And, and I'm just watching to make sure everyone is using their social skills appropriately. There you go. <laughs> We're the largest restaurant on this Friday night, probably in the state, or, the, or maybe the Midwest, who knows. Wouldn't want to be anyplace else. Every Friday we wait, anticipate, want to get here on time so we can have all this fun. Well, oh, it's turned out to be a traditional event. It's, uh, it's a citywide event, I think. I mean, people come from the metro area. I mean, totally. So, uh, and it's, it's just one of those uh, things that has just mushroomed over the years. Yeah, there's a lot of work on Bill, but it's, it's well worth it because the people are great and they enjoy it. On Thursday night we do a lot of the things. We make all the flour batter, uh, we make all the sauces, These the red and white sauces you see out there we make ourselves. Um, we arrange the cafeteria to better accommodate the crowd that's going to come. So we do about four hours of work for ten people on Thursday nights and the cutters start on Friday at like 11 o'clock. We start cutting fish and then it takes three or four hours just to set up the machines, the cafeteria, the fryers, everything else. So there's a lot of work all the way around, but again, it's only seven nights a year. I used to live in our place, John McGuire. He was, John was a, the original one. He went up to the Legion Club of Carroll, Iowa. That's where the recipe and everything came from there. When we, I, I'll tell you, when we first started, the coleslaw was made in our kitchen by a nice guy by the name of Bob Heller. And he took, we bought the cabbage raw, he made the coleslaw, he came up with his own dressing to put on it, and it was like an oil and vinaigrette dressing on it. And I had a man I knew who came here and loved the dressing. Just loved the dressing. And we're all giving Bob a bad time about the dressing. This guy wanted a quart of the dressing. So we had him make up a quart of the dressing. And I congratulated Bob. I said, Bob, this guy loves this dressing. He has never found a weed killer that works so great as this. So <laughs> Bob got a little upset with me, but it's a great story. <laughs> For 10 years, I cleaned the kitchen back there when they're all done. And it didn't used to look like it does now. They didn't used to have the big tumbler and everything else. They used to do all of that flour in, on flat tables. And then we'd have to go in afterwards and scrape up the gunk off of the floor and off of the walls and off of everything else. These people are spoiled that get to come tonight. They're absolutely spoiled. But I did that, and then I did the tuition assistance years because all of the families that get tuition assistance have to clean three nights, and I had four kids in Catholic school. So I did, like, years of cleaning the kitchen. I don't have to do it anymore. You know, every week we put uh, a buck in a pot, and whoever guesses the closest yeah. number of it paid dinners, not the dinners that 
but these are paid admissions, okay? And so we all put a buck in, and we can try to see who wins. Well, I was telling the guys that one year, several years ago, I won with the number 1066, 1066. That had to be a long time ago, because we've never, I can't ever remember 1066. Last week was 2000, tonight will be over 2000. Everybody said there's no way you could serve 2,000 people, you know, but you can with the equipment like this. Of course, we used to we used to do that all by hand, you know, before this equipment was built. <laughs> Our top night was 20, 2,500 a night last year, but one night we had last year. About a ton of fish, and uh, fries are about seven or eight hundred pounds, and the coleslaw runs pretty near that. So there's quite a bit of food goes through here. We have uh, we have a certain rule with our fish. You got to serve it just right. You can't burn it. And you can't undercook it. It's got to be done just right. And uh, we take pride in that. And our group is probably, I'd say, some of the best fish cooking people you'll ever find anywhere in the world. We are we're on a fast pace, but the thing is, we don't go through 2,000 to 2,400 people a night because we're slow, and we have to do it quick. And that's we have five fryers going all the time. does help us subsidize some of our programming in the school, absolutely. And they also provide scholarships to our 8th graders who are heading off to the Catholic high schools. And um, they offer a program where uh, families of 8th graders can, and, and high school, Catholic high school students can work and help clean up at the, after the fish fries and earn some tuition assistance money. About $13,000 a year goes into high school, Catholic high school tuition. We really believe in Catholic education. You know, just to support the parish. Think of it as something good to do, you know, for the kids in need and keep the parish going. We do have a lot of loyal Holy Namers that come back, and it's kind of the place to be to see your friends. Well, we're still alive to come back. This is our 45th reunion year, so we're trying to hold on. We're doing our best. You know, we're giving it all we've got. I still live in the parish, so I didn't get very far from here. Do you know these are my relatives? Everybody! Ed, you're so old, everybody's your own. <laughs> <laughs> We have politicians that come down here and work. The trick is when a, when a politician comes here when he's running, that's one thing. When they come here when they're elected, that's the guy you like. That's the guy you like. Well, let's see, you want to help us pick up? Whatever you'd like. All right, we'll get you an apron and you can help. Well, it's always nice when you have the sheriff come. So I uh, want to keep law and order and all that other good stuff. Okay, thank you. Well, we did have an argument yeah. here once, didn't we? Yeah. I heard about that one. And it wasn't the butter pat thing, no. So then the next, uh, the next week, all a bunch of us that work, and we got some official uniform shirts. 
We wore them, now we were going to referee it. Referee, they got referee <laughs> shirts. Yeah, that's a great story. <laughs> yeah, that's a great story. come from Fremont, they come from Lincoln. We had we have tours that come from even far away farther away than that. So it, it's been a process, a long process, and I think we got it right because most of the other churches in town come here to learn how to run a fish fry. We didn't have a line, we'd have a lot of complaints. Yeah, we have been here nights with no line and I get a lot of complaints. Well we get a lot of uh, regulars that repeat every week. Uh, they seem to enjoy tailgating outside just a little bit. Oh, we've only been in line for about 15 minutes, and it's definitely worth it. 16. 16 minutes. We're here to check it out, and if I have to wait in line for good fish, I will wait in line for good fish. It's good fish, and it's a great atmosphere. Most of all, the fish, and plenty of it. So. Fun loving, fish eating, and I don't think they're all Catholic either, you know. A couple friends of mine brought me, dragged me along tonight, asked me if I wanted to come, I said sure why not. What do you think? It's fun. It's important I think to have, you know, community wide events, you know, such as the fish fries so that uh, everybody can get to know each other, everybody gets to see each other. Oh no, just 20 to 25 kegs a week is all, you know. And well we don't want them to get dehydrated. How you doing? All right now. There you go. Enjoy. I just show up every week. Everybody wants to know how many years you've been doing this. I've been doing it for 25 years. You know, in 25 years, we've never had a cleric at our beer stand. But this year, we broke all the rules, and Father Frank was helping us out. Show you how this is done. Okay, it's all the rules. We have a lot of fun. We enjoy each other's company. We also enjoy the crowd. It's a fun crowd that comes here. Tonight we have somebody. We have, I know of two people with birthdays today. But this fine young lady here. Her birthday is today, St. Patty's Day. And she's, we don't know how old she is, but we're going to cut her in half and count the rings later. <laughs> we're going to count the rings and we'll know how old she is. But anyway, we're going to sing happy birthday to her. Should we? Sure. Ready? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Dolores, happy birthday to you, and many more. What a great way to celebrate, come see us. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. You know, actually the little kids look forward to it, and we do every week. Get all the girls in the shot too, not just you. Alright? On the inside. And I say any party is a good party. 